Hey gang, it is TBB coming to you um, from the shitter in my house. Anyway, so I hope everybody's having a good one. It is hot here in Ohio. Thank God my hair's still short from chemo, breast cancer, all that good stuff. Anyways, um, I'm coming to talk to you about my experience as a a recovering um, addict. Yes, I was um, addicted to opiates. Um, probably mid twenties and till about thirty two, thirty three. Um, I uh got addicted from my doctor during my hysterectomy after I had my, well, it was probably a C-section. Um, before that though, I did hang out with the wrong crowd and they were doing, you know, like Percocets and um, Lorisets, which we called them green beans. <laughs> and then I got up to um, Oxycot Oxycontin, Oxycontin 80s, Oxycodone 30s, blue, blue ones, which were my favorite. Um, I was also mixing those with Xanax and, you know, um, I eventually went to a methadone clinic, which I found the methadone made me higher than the Oxycontin did. <laughs> and I was mixing that stuff and I was partying like a rock star. Um, not knowing that it could kill me. Um, nobody ever really told me that those mixtures would, could stop my heart, you know. So, you know, I, I got arrested a few times and put in the pokey a few times and um, had to detox a few times in jail. Um, I'm now 43. I just um, went through breast cancer stage two, which they did give, they gave me no narcotic pain meds. Um, I am now on Cymbalta for pain and I have seen a lot of um, videos on how bad Cymbalta has been for other people but for me it has worked tremendously for my pain, neuropathy pain. Um, it has, my neuropathy pain is hardly none now and I'm not having to use narcotics um and I can still take nerve medicine with that if I have to because I have really bad anxiety um we're talking like so bad <laughs> I trip out and I think maybe it was due to when I was in my 20s I did do psychedelics um I was a exotic dancer in my 20s and um there was a lot of LSD going around sugar block acid purple microdot um I equate that to my anxiety today and had I had it to do again, I would have never touched the um, psychedelics. Now, weed is considered a psychedelic as well. Um, yeah, if you go look it up, marijuana is in the family of psychedelics. Um, I know weed always made me trip out. It made my oh my god, made my anxiety like 10 times worse. At first it didn't in my 20s, 
But then as I got older, I smoked a joint one time. It must have been really, really, really potent stuff because I tripped out. And ever since that time, I've avoided weed because I was pre-anticipating that panic attack that I had with that time I smoked. So I don't get to smoke weed, and I've never ate weed. Um, no, I don't think I ever ate edibles. I don't think they were around at the time, but I do want to get into... Chantel's edible use and drug use and shaming for Christ's drug use and Trichalicious's um, drinking and drug use. Listen, girls, you all really need to come off that stuff. You're, you, you're, you're making yourselves look really bad online. Um, it isn't cool. To do dope you know it's it's better if you can face life sober sober meaning son of a bitch everything's real I know it's hard but there's help out there but you really have to want the help because let me tell you girls the only places that you're gonna go is jail institutions or death and that's what I've learned, and that's what I learned, you know, in my recovery. And I don't want to see that happen. I don't want to see that happen to any of any uh, anybody. Um, Shani, uh, I, I feel like you're the worst because you're not strong. All right, you don't have to say, "Oh yeah, this is cool, man." Yeah, man. And you have two kids. That you need to look out for. Now, Trisha Licious, I'm not really sure about her, but I do know she has a child. And, you know, your child is going to grow up and learn everything that she's watching you do right now. And you will regret it. But aren't you guys in your 40s already? Like, I'm, I'm 43. So if you're 40 or 37, you should know this by now. You know, YouTube really needs to get stricter on you girls by coming on and going live and just nodding off and just doing dope and drinking with kids around and stuff. This stuff has to stop. It looks disgusting. It's so gross. I feel sorry for your kids. I don't understand. I'm really glad that we have, you know, there's people out there right now that are bringing this to some severe attention. Like, hello, YouTube. Let's get these girls down because they're doing dope in front of their kids, in front of millions of people or thousands of people, whatever. We have to, we, YouTube has to listen to us. You know, we're grown folk. We've been through that. We've been at your all's level. Or we haven't, and we see how you are. But you've got to stop. Chantel, stop. You don't look cool. And Shani, my God, please spend time with your kids. This is all the time you have with them. And if you want to talk about breast cancer, you can come talk to me because I just went through it. Hence the hairdo. Okay? And I'm not, I don't know, Trisha, Trisha Licious, girl, you're spoiled and you're, you're like, you're not as hot as you think you are. Like, to be able to just get away with acting like a snob and drinking and carrying on so in front of your beautiful little girl and uh, you're blessed you all are blessed and you're ruining it you're ruining your blessing by the Lord Shani and Reb you got seven hundred thousand dollars you blew it but that 
you ruin the blessing. You can't be fence sitters when you when you claim Jesus. You have to either be for Jesus or be not for Jesus. In the world or out of the world, choose one. Chantel, you're sleeping around with the dude that's sleeping around. You know, you could get HIV. You could get, you know, crabs. That's going to itch. Ew. I mean, you don't want these diseases. I'm being truthful. I, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen drugs ruin so many lives. And I really wish you guys would stop. And if not, well, then maybe we can get YouTube to get you to stop. But that is my two cents for two cents. Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? I still have brain fog from chemo. So, two cents Tuesday. There you go. That's my two cents for two cents Tuesday. I love you guys. I'm still working on my health. And coming back from chemo, I've lost quite a bit of weight. Working out the guns. Yeah. <laughs> Doing the best we can. You know. Enjoying every day. And, um, hopefully my hair will grow. But I love you guys. God bless. Peace.